name is Mark James. I am 75 years old. I would like to uh, share my story with you in the hope that it may educate some others in the future. I noticed in my right eye a very slight blurring, very, very slight, almost as if I'd put my hand and slept on it like this at night and woken up and was... Um, and it really was not a concern to me, not a worry, um, until some two hours into the morning when I'd truly woken up. Uh, we noticed it and started to talk about it, my wife and I. Once again, I had no blurred vision. I could see perfectly well. Uh, I had no other symptoms whatsoever. Um, very, very inconsequential in the sense that it wasn't a bother, really, then. Fine day, my wife and I chose to go up the town. We had a bit of shopping to do, one thing and another. And on the way up there, we were, I was moaning about the fact that what, I was a bit strange. And as we passed the uh, opt uh, optometrist, um, my wife said, well, why don't you pop in and see the C. Byron, who we've been known and known him for many, 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 many years. Uh, I popped in and luckily and fortuitously he'd just come out from uh, treating another patient. We met, shook hands and I mentioned to him that I said I need a, an appointment I think because I got something wrong with my right eye. And he said oh come, come up and have a, I'll have a quick look. Uh, I came up and he uh, had a quick look and next thing I know he's writing a piece of paper, sticking it in an envelope, and I'm on my way to uh, the hospital. My optometrist uh, found that I had a slight tear in the back of my eye, uh, my retina, and he immediately sent me forward to the Princess of Wales, a local hospital, to uh, get the diagnosis confirmed. Um, they confirmed it, they couldn't treat it there, and sent me on to the Heath in Cardiff. I was fortunate enough, when I was sent to, f further sent on to the Heath in Cardiff, where they confirmed it, and I was interviewed and saw by Mr. McPherson. He immediately booked me in to have uh, my retina corrected, and the operation was planned for, and he promptly did it. And uh, uh, it was successful, and he sent me off to come back in a week's time to be checked out. Owing to family, con uh, family concerns, um, nothing serious, I hasten to add, I didn't make that appointment, but I came about another week later after that. Saw Mr. McPherson once again, he had a look, checked my eyes out, and he immediately put me down for having an operation on my left eye, because my left eye was torn slightly, the retina. So 24 hours later, uh, I was operated on, and uh, the other one was done. So, a full set, you might say. Quite honestly, I think the important thing for any doctor, especially young, young doctors, is that when a patient or likely patient presents themselves, often the symptoms are not dramatic, not even exciting, and sometimes the patient has doubts whether actually he's 
there for a real reason or he's wasting his time and the doctor's time. Um, my symptoms were negligible the first time, second time, second time, none whatsoever. Um, but I was in the system and luckily I saw Mr McPherson and he did the business. I think, I think essentially that's the, that's the thing that they need to learn, um, that you're not going to be presented with yippee, I've got a broken leg and a bone sticking right out, you know, things aren't like that sometimes, you have very, very simple problems which are actually quite serious and are likely to be in the future serious. In my case, as an illustrator, if I'd have lost my sight, I'd have lost my income.